Hello, Bull Nation. It's yours truly, Danny Dwyer, your music director and afternoon personality here at 98.7 The Bull. We are back in action, live country music from the Bull Live Studio. And today, joining us from the green room for the Coors Light Happy Hour, Miss Erin Kinsey is with Hi. us. Hello. <laughs> Hi, thanks for having me. It's, I'm happy to see you. We got oh. to spend some time together in Las Vegas at the Vegas. ACMs. Yes, yep. it was very fun. Yep. Um, but you are a brand new artist to country music. I, I don't want to say brand new, like as of yesterday. You've been doing this for a while. Yeah, I uh, started pursuing this thing around 11 or 12 years old. I had been in every sport, every club, Girl Scouts, anything you can imagine. Um, and music was the only thing that really stuck for me. I just couldn't get enough of it. Was it an escape for you? Of course. Okay. I mean, especially being that young and being a girl, like middle school, high school. I mean, it's it's rough out there. <laughs> I, I know. Uh, it's insane. <laughs> for sure. Well, we asked people in the Bull Nation to submit a question for you today right. on our Facebook page. And All Brenda right. from McMinnville says Hi, her daughter is in high school and loves Hi, country yeah. music and is, wants to know, what is the best advice as a new artist? What should she do to get started in the business? I think the biggest thing is to just go for it. Right. Um, you know, there's so many you know, I can't do that in my mind or in anybody's mind. I actually started writing songs when I was around 11 or 12, I'm okay. probably 12. Um, I didn't release my first thing until last year. Wow. I and know. it was a long time of just being nervous, feeling like, you know, what if people don't like it or if I can't get it on a bunch of playlists or anything like that. But eventually, you know, the stars aligned in the way of I just decided to release something and just go for it. And I mean, li my life changed. I think the biggest thing really is the confidence level. When you're a for teenager, sure. you still are building your confidence. For how sure. to get things out. For sure. So I, I would strongly suggest get that confidence, stay strong, and know that you can do, follow your dreams. You absolutely can. And what's fun and cool, too, now is with social media and things like that, you can really take some things into your own hands of just, you know, posting music and trying to create a fan base and just getting things out there. Right. Um, you have tools now and don't have to wait on a, you know, having a full-on deal or making everything around you happen. You can really take it into your own hands, too. So that's, I mean, just go for it. Girl, you got this. Yeah. And <laughs> you know this firsthand. You did TikTok. Yeah. yeah. And that seems to be the new thing. Like, everybody's getting found on TikTok these days. Well, the cool thing about TikTok is that the algorithm gets things out to people who don't follow you. Right. And with Instagram, you know, mostly your feed is people you follow. Same with Facebook or Twitter. Um, and the cool thing about TikTok is it gets you to new people who have never seen your face before it puts right. you on their feed. Um, so I think that's why it's a good discovery tool for people. Um, but I mean, if you have a song and it connects with you most likely right. in the most wonderful, beautiful way, you're not that special because all of my stuff connected with other people. Right. I mean, down to the most insane details, like having a white Toyota or speeding down a highway. Like, <laughs> That's you know, my truck, too. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The amount of people that have white Toyotas. And it's cool to think, like, we're all so similar. We're more alike than we think. And if something means a lot to you, it's probably going to mean something to somebody yeah, else. Absolutely. Absolutely. So number one is get that confidence, stay strong, and follow your dreams. Absolutely. Heck, yeah. Put your hands together for Aaron Kinsey, everybody. Thank you. It's so good <laughs> to have you here me. at the Bull Live Studio. We are kicking the doors open, and yeah. we are so excited to have you. If you'd like to submit a question on the Coors Country Cam uh, for our next show coming up in May, please submit it at 987thebull.com. Aaron, always great to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs>